What's up everyone? Over here chilling, going over this. Got special guests in the house, Kiki. This is my boy Kiki right here. This is my friend Arnold's son. And we, we got ourselves, we had to remove this uh, Scott Finley pull start out. To, and in order to remove this cover, you gotta remove the head cover, which has got some weight to it. And they also made a heat sink. This is all one part. So they actually turned this cover into another heat sink on top of this head here of this 50 cylinder. All right, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. We got some weight to it though. Um, and just to give you guys, uh, if any one of you guys have a 40 or a 50, the head bolts to retort them is 12 Newton meters, right? We're gonna do 12.4. Uh, and I got that information straight from Ian, right? Which is Finley's boss yeah, over there, in charge over there in the UK. And um, another thing over here is, I'm not liking this gap here too much. It's too big for my liking. All right, so I'm gonna have to adjust this coil. The reason why I had to take this out is because we're gonna install a kill switch. All right, we're almost there. I did not film what I did to this, but at the end, I will tell everybody what I did. It's really not much, all right? And there's a few mistakes that I wish I never did. Like I wish I never installed this turtle racing transmission case and whole thing. I should have just kept this here, the primal one. I should have just kept this. I should have just re taken this apart. Uh, I did the, the tubes install on here, the lay shaft. Even the lay shaft could stay the same, man. But I wound up changing the lay shaft on here and customizing, making a few things work here. And it didn't line up. I didn't have the brakes to work properly. I had to add another freaking brake pad here. It was a pain in the ass. No, no lie. This thing was on and off at least 15 times. Um, we had to add uh, another brake pad. We had to sand it down because then it was too much. I had to add a shim underneath here, underneath this bolt. It was just pain in the balls. It was really not necessary. And um, that's it. So uh, next time, my next primal I build will be different. Uh, this one still has the locker. Over here, I'm using a diff. I removed the locker. But in the future, I may be putting a locker. All right, so, and yes, this thing is happy to see us. Look at this shit. Thing is ridiculous. This is like a motorcycle exhaust system in this bitch right here. All right. I'll, I'll show you guys at the end of um, of how this thing is. Hopefully the next time I do a video of this, I will show some pictures, but hopefully the next video I do of this is you guys listening to how this thing sounds. We're going to try to do our best to fire it up today. Oh yeah, another thing. There was no Loctite whatsoever. Over here, most engine builders don't use Loctite. They torque stuff, whatever, but we will be putting Loctite, all right? Because I've had many uh, bolts in the past and other engines just come loose on us, you know, especially after break-in. After a couple of heat cycles, things get loose on you, all right? If you don't feel like going on, this engine is easy to retorque, you know, but I can't retorque these studs here, these bolts, you know, it's gonna be a bitch. So I'm just going to torque down this dome here, this cylinder, here's a look. Is a nice 50. I put some oil in here because this engine sat here for over a year. All right, I put, I just added a little bit of three in one. Yes, I, there's other oils you can put, but I just lubricated it. And uh, it smells nice of three in one, just a little lube over here. It's good. Look at that nice little piston there. See, you see that little lubrication there? That's it. I see a little bit of the port jobs that Finley did. All right, I'm gonna face this spark plug towards the end tank. Why? Because we can now. And, and that's it, so let's get busy with this. Talk to you guys in a few. All right, over here taking a union break. All right, uh, we just mounted the kill switch. We mangled everything somehow. We got everything to fit in here. We got the vacuum out just now to vacuum out all this dust that we drilled. And that's it, so now we're gonna set up the Futaba remote. Kiki here, and that's it. Kiki just mounted uh, the linkage here for me while I got busy with other things here. All right, everything's torqued down. Um, we're almost ready to go. Got new fuel lines. Uh, yeah, this is gonna go there. This carburetor is a Tillinston. We're gonna have a primer bulb hooked up to it, and that's it. 
right? This is the original primal fuel line. That's going to be my feed from here. This is the feed to the carburetor. And this is going to be the primer. All right, so, yeah. It's got a choke. And I, I torqued this down to 65 inch. I torqued the coil back to 55 inch pounds. And here's the linkage. All right, hopefully the brakes won't act up on me. And that's it, we'll be at chilling with this. All right guys, so check this shit out. My Futaba, great remote. It is overkill for what I need. I had an issue here with the switch. We gotta take this shit apart, fix this switch there. And thanks to three in one, that's right, three in one effing oil, we, we threw a dab in there and we got the switch to connect to, what do you call that plastic part? Um, this is just the steering wheel plate. Steering wheel plate, uh, we, we, there's this, an electronic switch that we got to connect back into that circle roundish thing over here. This thing inside. I should have had filmed it with this open, but we're in a rush. We gotta get this thing going. And there's the switch. Alright, so if you guys, look at that. Any questions, kid? Any questions? Because our switch wasn't going in and staying locked in. Yeah, it wasn't latching. It wasn't latching, right. So if, if this happens to your 7PX or is the 4PX the same way? No, my 4PX was good. All right, so the 7PX, if this happens to you guys, do not force the bitch. Do not force it. Take it apart. Go over it. Remove it with these little, with a little flathead screwdriver like this. Just peel it off. All right, a little three in one, a little dab yeah, of that three is, in one. All it is is these two screws here and here. Yeah. And it comes right off. It comes right off, all right. All right, so now let's try to do uh, these endpoints and set up this 7PX remote. Look at this. Super happy to see me, kid. What the? F Look at this fucking thing. Huh? Look at that. Pow, 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 kid. Man, look at this. Look at this. Kiki, what were you saying? You thought the wheelie ball was long? Pipe makes it look small. <laughs> this wheelie ball is long as hell, but with this damn pipe here, this pipe, this pipe is for a motorcycle, bro. Well, we're gonna let's fire this bitch up for the very first time, man. Let's fire it up. We gotta prime it. We're all ready to go, man. We got, we, did, we got to disconnect uh, the kill switch. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get some fuel. First time ever. Cam 2, 100 octane, ethanol free, dominator. Okay. Always shake your fuel up. Shake your oil and your fuel, always. I still have newbies that still don't do that. There's our primal fuel tank. That's what we're running. This here, in case you're wondering, this is insulated uh, sticker, wrap, for the ACE air ducts. Mm -hmm. She's filling up. Keep going, keep going, fill it up. Worst comes to worst, if it overfills, it'll come out through here. This is the vent, the breather. Let's prime this Tillinston carb. I should have a... I'm doing a newbie mistake right now. I'm, I should have. Oh, oh, we got prime, kid. We have prime for the first time. Look at that, man. Look at that beautiful reddish. Man, we're good, kid. Well, we got a fucking choke. We, we got ourselves a choke. I think that should be it. Yeah, prime is choke. Get a little. Damn, this is gonna be sick right here. Sound like a fucking dirt bike. <laughs> oh, is that? It's got three in one in it, so it should start right away. Man.
<laughs> That's fucking it. That shit started right up. That three and one over there helped it out. Right. I didn't even give it no fuel or anything. Breaking this engine to a couple of heat cycles. She's alive, man. Love it. <laughs> Yo, it echoes everywhere, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. It, it like, it radiates through the fucking sound barrier. Huh? Oh, really? No. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to lean the bitch up a lot. Keep like that, I'm gonna do almost a whole gallon like that.
No way. Stay there, stay there. I gotta see this. Yeah? Holy shit. <laughs> no way, really? Oh yeah, I see your shirt. Fuel's getting low. See that? You guys gotta listen to your engine. You gotta be ready. Alright, so she's getting low, and that's when she started leaning out. Turn your shit off, especially new engines. Never lean them out. Alright, cool, man. I'm just gonna make sure she's topped off. You wanna do more, guys? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> switch that we fixed we had to fix this all right freaking expensive remote had to be worked on had to be fixed that's not cool but Futaba is good I've never had any issues even under satellites or in radio stations so I, we used to go bashing where there's a radio station on this long stretch dead-end street we never had issues with Futaba we've had many issues with other remotes we've had we've had mm -hmm. oh. one pull Did a few heat cycles today. Definitely sounds good. I'm gonna, once I come back later, I'm gonna run a little more fuel. I gotta do a, a gallon through this thing. Look at that. New, we got ourselves olive trees here, kid. Olive trees, son. I'm gonna mess around here, though. This son of a bitch is happy to see you, kid. <laughs> 